Hello and welcome back. This is Lake Tahoe Television News. You may remember last December that TRPA's brand new regional plan update was approved, a plan that directs the future of development, transportation, and lake restoration efforts around the Lake Tahoe Basin. Now, although the plan was welcomed by state and local leaders as a strong environmental leap forward for the lake, last February, the Sierra Club and the Friends of the West Shore filed a lawsuit to stop the plan from being implemented. Now, this week, a federal judge has dismissed many of the claims made by the Sierra Club and the Friends of the West Shore and has ordered them to pay for part of the cost the TRPA has incurred in this court case. Judge John Mendez agreed that the plaintiffs, meaning the Sierra Club, and not Tahoe taxpayers, should bear the cost of assembling years of documentation of the regional plan update. The new regional plan update seeks to concentrate development, reduce vehicle miles traveled, and to protect an additional 1,200 parcels of land in the basin. It would cut the residential growth building applications in half and offer environmental improvement incentives to about 27,000 parcel owners. The judge ordered the Sierra Club and the Friends of the West Shore to pay TRPA's fees within 15 days, or the remainder of the case would be dismissed. Douglas County sheriffs are seeking the public's help in identifying the people responsible for tearing up the greens and fairways at the Glenbrook Golf Course. On the night of June 16th at about 1 a.m., a vehicle apparently drove onto the golf course, raced around on the greens, and caused a whole lot of damage. Anyone with information about this crime can contact the Douglas County secret witness at this number. The man accused of causing the robber's fire in July of 2012 has been indicted by the Placer County Grand Jury. Brian Mason was charged with arson, causing great bodily injury, and other arson charges. Authorities say Mason started the forest fire when he tossed fireworks into an area near Shirttail Creek. The fire consumed over 2,600 acres of forest lands, injuring a firefighter and destroying several structures. He's currently in Placer County Jail with a bail set at $500,000. The Truckee Police Department will be increasing its enforcement efforts with motorists and with cyclists to try to increase safety with cyclists using the roadways. The police say bicycle riders are entitled to use the roads just like any other vehicle and that drivers need to give cyclists room, pass them safely, and not park in the bike lanes. For their part, cyclists should only ride single file, ride with traffic and not against it, and observe the same laws as vehicles, like stopping at red lights and stop signs. The Truckee Police Department has its own unit of bike riding cops, which has become more active since the new chief, Adam McGill, has taken command. With summer visitors already in town and with school out, there will be increased bicycle traffic on all of the roads around Lake Tahoe. The Environmental Protection Agency has released a new report on the effects of future development on public health. EPA researchers cite two-thirds of the development which will exist 40 to 45 years from now does not exist today. The report says currently about 850,000 acres of lakes and 50,000 miles of rivers are already impacted by stormwater runoff. And even though technology has steadily reduced harmful vehicle exhaust gases since the 1970s, miles traveled since then has more than doubled, offsetting any gains. The report recommends mixed-use infill projects over urban sprawl, more walkable and bikeable communities, and safeguarding sensitive areas like Lake Tahoe. That's it for now from the Lake Tahoe Television News Studio. I'm Robert T. E. Scott.